everyone. So today we'll be talking about aphakia. Dividing this word into two phrases, A and fakia. A means absence or without and fakia means lens. So lens, before going through the fakia, Lens. Lens is a transparent and a crystalline structure of the eye and it is composed of the flexible tissue and is located behind the iris and the pupil. After the cornea, it is the second part of the eye and it helps us to focus the light and images on the retina. Let me draw the eyeball. So roughly, this is called the fakic eye. That means the eye has a crystalline lens. But in fakia, in the condition, the lens is totally absent from its pupillary area. And in optical point of view, it doesn't take part in any refraction. As there is no any lens, no crystalline lens in the eye, then there may be changes in the cardinal data. But before, in any case, before knowing the abnormal things, first we should know the normal things. The normal cardinal data be, so this is the principal axis, uh, this is the principal focus, F1 and F2, sorry. This is the principal point. This will be the nodal point. So, in the normal cardinal data of the eye will be around the anterior focal point will be around 17 mm and the posterior focal point will be around uh, 22.4 mm behind the anterior surface of cornea. So these are the normal cardinal data of the eye. As fakia means absence of lens. So the changes in the cardinal data will be the anterior focal point becomes 23.2 mm and the posterior focal point becomes 31.2 mm. And the next thing is the eye becomes highly hypermetropic. That means the uh, second focal point, that means principal focal point F2 will not be there. The image won't be formed on the retina. It will form behind the retina. That means hypermetropic. It will be just here. So, this will be the posterior focal point. And the next thing that comes under the changes in cardinal data is the nodal points. The nodal points are almost close to each other and it becomes around 7.75 mm. So these are the changes in the cardinal data of the eye in a fakie condition. Now what may be the causes or etiology of the fakia? Let me draw this. Etiology. causes or etiology of the fakia. The first thing is congenital. Congenital fakia. Congenital means by birth. So this fakia, congenital fakia occurs due to the absorption of lens matter after the trauma of the eye in children. Second thing is surgical so this fakia, surgical fakia, this fakia occurs after the surgical 
uh, removal of the cataractus lens. After the removal of cataractus lens. Next one is traumatic extrusion of lens. So this affect here, this condition occurs due to the posterior dislocation of the lens in vitreous. That means the lens is not in its proper position or in step. And next one, fourth one is And the next is heritable disorder. Heritable disorder that are associated with the dislocation of lens that are Marfan syndrome, and homocystinuria. Homocystinuria. Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome means it is a heritable disorder, hereditary disorder that affecting or that are affecting the connective tissue. And homocystinuria means uh, it is a disorder in which a body cannot break down a particular amino acid. So. And the last one is ocular disorder associated with the subluxation of the lens that are intraocular tumor exfoliation syndrome exfoliation syndrome mean it is the condition or the abnormal condition in which the proteins are accumulated in the drainage system and other structures of the eye. And there is Bophthalmus. Bophthalmus means it is the condition where the eyeball becomes enlarged. It usually occurs in the infants of the newborn babies. Okay. So after this, uh, what could be the signs of the effect here? signs. So first thing is as we have already discussed earlier the eye becomes highly hypermetropic. So the first sign of the aphakia is high hypermetropia, hyperopia or hypermetropia. And next thing is as the Purkinje images there are four Purkinje images but in aphakia conditions third and fourth Purkinje images are absent. Absence of third and fourth Purkinje images. Next thing is pupil. Pupil becomes small and appears as a jet black in color. Jet black. the iris or um, the shivering or the vibration movement of the iris and next one last but not the least most deep anterior chamber that means the iris has no support so here we finishes the introduction etiology uh, changes in the cardinal data and the signs of the aphakia. So the further information like symptoms and treatment will be discussed by my group member. Thank you. Now I am going to discuss about the treatment of aphakia. It contains like spectacles, uh, contact lenses, IOL. IOL means intraocular lens and a refractive corneal surgery. In the advantages of correction of uh, spectacles, uh, like uh, easy, easy to use and uh, it, like it is also safe and it is inexpensive. And now I am going to tell about disadvantages of spectacle correction. Increased retinal image size, 
decreased field of view and uh, presence of uh, presence of rings scotoma increase the lens aberrations motion of object fields in view appearance of the wear air like uh, here increased ocular rotations advantages of advantage of contact lens of a care image in magnification is 7 to 8 percent and this magnification is usually tolerant by the patients increasing in the visual field both central and peripheral and uh, in monocular cases uh, diplopia is usually absent with retinal binocular like uh, we can like this contact lenses affect here contact lenses affect here Affective contact lens is not very common in practice. It is treatment of choice who are unsuitable for IOL like uh, intraocular lens. Implantation or who have experienced it as uh, uh, like uh, failed IOL implants. Common in uh, unliter un illateral affective. Uh, contact lenses provide uh, less image magnification about 5 to 7 percent only which make possibility of BSV in uh, unapular uh, unapular affecia. Uh, it provides BSV only where fellows I had uh, usually vision can achieve only 140 seconds of heart thickness. 80 percent of with the intermediate suppression was Spectacles. Uh, optical principle to correct the error by convex lens of appropriate power. Spectacles prescription has been the most commonly applied methods of correcting affecia in the past. Optical defect of affectia, uh, acquired high hyperopia, against the rule astigmatism, absence of accommodation, change in color vision. The amount of astigmatism is plus one diopter to plus three diopters cylindrical at 180 degrees, but gradually dimensions. Eye oil implantation, eye oil means uh, intraocular lenses. Eye oil implantation in contact has good out outcome. Difficult to implant eye oil in congenital contact due to small size of eye walls. Eye oil power may hammer the intermetropization process due to inappropriate eye oil size and power. In uh, unilateral cases, primary implantation is indicated as soon as the patient is fit for anesthesia, ideally between 2 and 3 months of age. The earlier surgery is done the better than ch chance the deep uh, Deep amblyopia can be overcome. Disadvantages of contact lenses in affectia: foreign body sensation, uh, corneal complications, and lens spoilage. Spoilage and spectacles may have required over contact lenses for reading. And uh, high mm, uh, stop here. symptoms of affectia: only symptom in affectia is marked uh, defective vision uh, for far and near vision. Lens selection for affection. High index plastic, aspiric lenses, uh, lenticular lenses, light tints and UV protection, and anti reflection coating. Refractive corneal surgery in affection. Uh, it, like it has three. Refractive corneal surgery is under trial for correction of affection. It includes keratophagia, epikeratophagia, hyperopic. Keratophagia. Keratoplasty in which corneal tissue from a donor is frozen, shaped and uh, inserted into the cornea of the recipient. And uh, the second one, epikeratopopia. Epikeratopopia. Okay. Surgical procedure in which a donor cornea is transplanted to the anterior surface of patient cornea. And third one, hyperopic. Le uh, laser assisted in C2 keratomyelitis. Corrective eye surgery in which a flap on the corneal sur surface is raised and a thin layer of underlying tissue is removed by the using lasers. Disadvantages of eye oil implantation. Mm -hmm. Disadvantages of intraocular lenses implantation. It is like uh, risks and complications may be more infections and explosive like uh, corneal hemorrhage, uh, cystoedema, macular edema, retinal detachment and corneal edema. Dislocation of eye oil in like uh, chain rubbing eye, uh, posterior uh, capsular uh, obesity. It needs specially qualified surgeons and uh, instruments like uh, sophisticated, sophisticated wood instruments. The cost is also high.